And a Ray, a parent in the district who says she's the one being referred to in one of those videos, is live for us from Arizona. Amanda, thanks, Amanda, thanks for being here. When you looked into this, what did you find? Well, we found a digital dossier of more than 50 parents in our community, um, myself included, with divorce decrees, mortgage documents, uh, background checks, um, social security numbers. It was really terrifying. Let's pop up on the screen some of the items to, in addition to what you just mentioned, the contents of this dossier. You mentioned the background, the bankruptcy filings, family trees, background checks, things of that nature, court case summaries, hidden camera footage of conversation with parents, phone numbers, addresses, screenshots of text message conversation. Uh, I'm just curious, why would you be tracked? Well, I became an advocate for increased um, transparency within our district and I became um, a vocal advocate for parental rights and education and that made me a target and our school board president has harassed and intimidated us um, all parents um, in our district or, or you know hundreds of them and we're terrified of this person having access to our information. My eight and 10 year old daughter's photos were found in Jan Michael Greenberg's dossier. Wow, and the individual you just mentioned is the president. His father also connected to this. They have emails that are attached to all of this. They deny any involvement. What can you tell us about these two guys? Well, Jan Michael, revealed this Google Drive in an email to two parents. He sent an unsolicited email to those parents with the Google Drive address. He copied the superintendent and the board vice president. And it, it was, it, so for, to deny that it exists or deny connections, either he has, somebody has access to his district email or um, somebody's pretending to be him, but I don't know how he's gonna explain um, how he's not involved. Here's a statement quickly from the school board. While the existence of the site and its public record contents may raise concern, such activities are not within the purview of the Scottsdale Unified School District to control and are unrelated to the district's task of providing future focused world class learning opportunities to our 22,000 pre K through 12 students. What do you make of a statement like that? Seems like they are deflecting when they should be taking responsibility if all this is true. Yeah, it's weak. I understand he's an elected official and they, the superintendent answers to him, uh, but we need our superintendent and our other board members to step up and hold this person accountable. If they really care about the district and our students and parents and, and trust, uh, they need to call for his resignation. Um, we don't feel safe with mm. him on the board. Quickly, what's your message to people who mess with kids like this? We are kids, parents' kids. <laughs> I tell you what, you know, parents are not the domestic terrorists here. We are, uh, we are the victims, and um, I want all parents, grandparents, and community members to to stand up and and let these districts know that that we're not going to back down and be diminished. We want to have rights, parental rights, and a voice within our school districts, and and be involved in our our children's education, and um, we're not backing down. Amanda Ray, thank you for being here. I know if this were happening to me, I'd be pretty freaked out. Understandably so, you. you are as well. We appreciate your time this morning. Carly, over to you. Thank you.